Hello Commanders! And today we are going to cover building a soldier loadout and doing the soldier hero quest. The hero quest requires that you use a soldier with an AR to eliminate 100 husks. Pretty simple stuff. The catch is, early on, we don't have a lot of choices for heroes. So I'm replacing my ninja loadout here with a soldier loadout. I happen to be lucky and have Breakbeat Wildcat as an epic. The higher rarity for your lead that you can get, you probably want to take. You probably won't have Breakbeat Wildcat, but at the time this is recorded, December of 2020, uh, Powerhouse is the uh, way that you purchase Save the World, the Powerhouse starter pack. And Powerhouse is a good enough soldier to do the same thing, and also epic. So we don't have any good team perks, so we're just going to leave that. Assault Damage is a good hero, Survivalist is a good hero. And we really don't have a lot of soldiers here, so we're just going to leave assassination and we'll skip right ahead I did some farming before this and completed a couple of things but we're gonna skip it just because we only have so much time all right so we found the landing zone and in case you haven't been watching the entire ser series you can find the landing zone pretty easy by looking to the sky and looking for the balloon and we got to clean up the area now my main quest is to upgrade 50 builds to tier 2. But we're really here for the soldier quest. So we will go ahead and do the upgrades of everything we build, but we're not going to go out of our way. You could just run around, lay, floor, lay 50 floors, run over them, um, tear them up and be done, or level them up and be done, but that's kind of cheap, so we're just gonna, the things that we build will make level 2, but we won't go out of our way to build extra. So those stairs would normally be a threat, but this early in the game, they're gonna come from right there and it's not gonna move. So we have to block this way, not up those stairs. I'm just clearing out some husks, no sense giving them a free lobber when all oh, you know what breaks loose. I do do a little bit of farming here. I decided to leave it in because we did some building, we'll do some farming, we'll go back and finish building and then we'll fight. That's a little bit longer than my original goal for these videos were, but it's about as long as all the others are, so we're probably okay. Poking in, peeking in there, just making sure there's nothing there we want. Alright. Now if you were building a complex trapping system, that basement would be a great place to shove husks. But we're not, so I'm just going to find the survivor and whatever that exclamation point is. Oh, that's what the exclamation point is. As I've said before, Battle Breakers, if you finish those quests, and I do finish both, both of them in this video, if you finish those quests, you get rewards in Battle Breakers, nothing in Save the World. I'm not going to do Battle Breakers on this account, I did on my other. I'm only hitting those videos so it'll quit putting exclamation points on my maps. Help. Nothing wrong with Battle Breakers, just not a game that grabbed me. We need more people like you. Alright. We got a free survivor out of that, which means we'll get a little survivor XP in our chest, which is nice. Also puts us closer to rescuing survivors, all the different rewards you get for them. Grabbing some metal and nuts and bolts don't hurt. A lot of things use nuts and bolts, lots of uh, traps, most ammo, and some weapons. So, and as I said, we'll tear everything up here just because we can. 
I keep saying tear up, official terminology is level up. But the concept of tearing is so endemic in the game, I just sometimes slip and say tear. Ah. That's 8 out of 50, and we haven't even done anything yet. So we want to build trap tunnels. You can stand and fight. They're just going to run at you. You can just shoot them. Playing solo, I'm going to put trap tunnels and a defender as kind of a bulwark against them getting through. So what we want to do is give them an opening close to and in the direction of their spawn points. And we'll give them two. We could just block this side off. It's further away from their spawn points. But I'm going to go ahead and build two trap tunnels. And it's really just a judgment call. Take, take it up to you. This early in the game, just this little two by one is enough. Remember, we don't want to kill everything on this one. We want to hurt them so we can hit them with an AR and get credit for AR kills with our soldier. Now you could put a sound wall here to make uh, exploders drop their stuff, but some husk will crawl into that little U that it makes and start bashing walls, I guarantee it. So we'll do it in here instead. See that husk running by in the background? Yeah, we gotta go take care of that. No sense letting them beat on our build, and they might. That was dumb. Don't shoot the shield. But shooting the shield does hurt the shielder. It takes a lot longer, so better to get inside the shield, let him hit you once, and just take him out. Alright. Now, as you can see, the, tr the tunneling is really simple the here. Way we're going to retrieve all of the data is to shoot the balloon down as soon as possible. Okay, when Ray says that... that balloon, download that data, and get ready to move. When Ray says that, that means you only have four minutes. She says that at the four minutes before landing mark, and then at three minutes she tells you to shoot it down. Huh, looks like there was a delay and it put them both together. That's right. This is enough junk to make the husks not want to come over here and bash their way through, so we're not going to reinforce that at all. And of course. Supposedly random spawns give us company. It's just a distraction, so we want to kill it as fast as possible and move along. Alright, floor spikes to slow them down. Floor spikes will do a little bit of damage, but our goal with floor spikes is to make them move through the tunnel slower. Alright. We really don't have any good wall traps and very little in the way of ceiling traps, so we'll use what we have. The thing I don't like about ceiling zappers is that they hit hard on one husk and then have to take their time to reset. If you do it like a ceiling electric field, it will hit every husk in its range and then reset. But, that should take out enough husks that we can just shoot the rest. We need stuff for this side. So when you're, when you're further along and you have really good schematics and lots of crafting materials, you can just carry around stacks of your favorite traps and just use them. But for now, we're just going to make what we need for this particular mission. Some wall darts and floor spikes. And then something for the ceiling. Now the problem with this layout, doing all wall darts, one, they all do the same type of damage. Two, they have a range of three, which means three of the four of these are going to go off the second the husk steps in here, and only one of them is going to hit the next husk. And that's unfortunate, but this will work. I'm also going to do a little trick I picked up from another YouTuber. 
which is make them go that tiny little extra bit to go around this little half wall. That works best with gas traps. But it also works with other traps. It just increases the chance of a reset before they get there. Now we want to put a lid on this and probably an anti-air trap in case a uh, lobber gets through. Lobbers should not make it through our traps, but depending on how the husks run through, remember we didn't make them super deadly trap tunnels. We made them just enough to hurt the husks so we can finish them off with an SMG. And we're going to go with a melee defender so that we can shoot before they get to him. Look at that, he showed up and the first husk is down. Oh, a lobber did get through. Good. I'm glad we have an anti-air trap. I want to upgrade this as soon as I can. Upgrade these. Upgrade this. And there you go, we're almost halfway through with our wall upgrades. And we didn't do anything special. This is what I would have done anyway, so. Good stuff. And we're well into our killing with an, with an AR. Breakbeat's actually a pretty good hero. I mean, she was our only epic one, that's why I chose her. But the reality is, I use her on my main account too. I usually use her in support on my main account. I like minigun builds. So I'll build out a minigun build and uh, put her in support so that I get uh, Rock and Rip. We're clipping right along, four files in, and very little has made it through the tunnels. And we're over halfway through our kill him with an AR. Killer Be Killed is the name of that quest, by the way. It shows up under optional quests or side quests on the quests tab. And all it does is give you a uh, LMG, a silver terminator. It does not give you the schematic, just the LMG, but this will clear it off of our quest list. And so we'll actually clear at least three things off the quest list, which is eliminations as a soldier with an AR, kill or be killed, and the two battle breakers ones. One of which you saw me complete, the other I completed in the parts that I let go, or that I skipped. Wow, lots and lots of husks coming. This is probably closer to appropriate trapping than what I normally do. I have a tendency to over trap when I'm playing solo. Look at that, we're done with killer to be killed. But this kills some, lots of others through that we can shoot. Nothing's getting even close to the data. So this is probably appropriate trapping. Now there's no need to try and shoot things that aren't even through the tunnel yet at this point because we finished our kill or be killed challenge. All we need to do is kill what makes it out the end of the tunnel. Like these guys, how did they get through? Maybe they're short and the yeah, wall darts went over their heads. <laughs> don't recall if this particular um, zone has a mini boss in it. If it does, we'll take care of it. I did this during the birthday celebration. 
this class. So our propane huskies are birthday cake huskies. Exactly the same husky, just reskinned to be carrying a piece of birthday cake instead of a propane can. And if I get 20 of those killed, I get birthday penny. That was the 2020 birthday event. So happy to take out any that happen to come along. There's one. That should tell us how many we have here. And 19 of 30. It won't happen in this mission, but we're getting closer every mission. So we'll get that before we're done. Not sure where our boy went. We should upgrade these walls. Doesn't appear they need it, but hey. There we go. Easy enough to do. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to just shoot a hundred husks and be done with it. And we'll get pretty good rewards from it. Um, the Terminator LMG is a good weapon. I recommend you use it. I have other weapons that I'm happy with. So I probably won't right away. But even if you don't use it, you can always recycle it and get the crafting materials back to build the weapons you do prefer. Alright. Level 3 loot. So, we talked about building a soldier squad with what you have available, which is important early on. You don't have a lot of choices. Talked about completing quests. We talked about kill or be killed, the specific quest I was out to finish. And there's a little bit of trap tunneling and some uh, bits about uh, retrieve the data specifically. And that should take us to the end here where we can see what we got and head out. And we completed a fair number of quests there. Schematic, Survivor, and Gold. Killer Storms is always gold. Kill or be killed. Gives us the LMG. Notice the green bar on the side means it's a weapon, not a schematic. Shoot for the high score is one of the Battle Breaker ones. That's for Pathfinder Jess. You get her in Battle Breakers if you complete it. And climbing the leaderboard is for Kyle. Um, base Kyle in Battle Breakers. Mission Alert Rewards. Eh, rain is always good. Tickets are always good. Well, there you have it. I will leave it there. If you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. And uh, don't hesitate to comment. We'll answer your questions. Thank you. Mr. Mean Raindrop. Gone.